In this video, I'm going to stop, show you how to stop the strong close in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And one of the ways that we do that is through basically helping you guys as we learn new things, you learn new things. And so one of the best ways to stay up to date about everything that our channel has to offer is to go ahead and hit the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Now if you're new to the channel, one of the things that I want to talk about really quickly before we dive too far deep into this video is I actually wrote an entire defensive ebook um, about the nickel 335 wide defense, which is widely considered the best defense in the game. And so I've been running this defense all season long. Um, I actually started back in June of 2020, so almost a year of running this defense. And so if you want to get all of the setups, all of the tools that you need to be effective, that link is in the description of this video. So it's just 15 bucks for the best defense in the game. Okay guys, so I wanted to talk to you today about a specific setup or specific strategy for when you defend strong close. I want to identify a couple of the things that the strong close does that is a little bit unique, um, a little bit different, um, and I'm in the Raiders playbook right here, so we're going to go over a couple of key plays. The first one that we're going to be going over is wide, uh, wide receiver out, double post, wide trail, and then we're going to take a look at um, the play FL drive, because I think you're going to get, those are kind of your main core uh, passing concepts from this from this playbook. So the first thing that we're going to deal with is uh, we're going to look at some crossing routes and things like that. Now, if you notice, um, my zone drops, I set my flats to 30, my curl flats to 10, and my hard flat, or um, I'm sorry, my, my hook curls to five yards. Now, uh, we're going to come out and cover four drop every single play. That's kind of my strategy. Um, I always like to come out of the same thing and audible into whatever I need to do. And so we're going to audible from cover four drop into the cover four show two out of the nickel 335 wide. So you see it's a one simple click. And as you can see right here, this is the defense that we're in. Now, from there, it's time to get adjusting. And one of the things that you might not know about strong close is that if I motion this guy to the left side, he can only go so far. He can only go to that point right there, right? Um, so the only way that I can motion somebody to the outside, let me show you real quick, um, is if I motion this guy to the right, okay? You can see I could do that. Or I could take one of these running backs and I could motion them out to the outside, which most people don't do from the strong close, right? You could do that. Another thing you could do is you could motion your fullback. So let's say you wanted to move your fullback. I can motion my fullback to the left here. Let me show you. Or actually, maybe I can only take him to the right. You see, I can motion my fullback out to the right. Part of defending a formation, in my opinion, is understanding, you know, kind of the, 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 the tools that they have at their, at their disposal. So the next thing that we want to talk about is a couple things. So first and foremost, we want to talk about a specific type of route um, that is in the strong close that I think you'll uh, recognize, and that is the wide trail route. So the wide trail route is really designed to beat cover two. You see it's kind of an angled streak to the outside. So I'm going to see here, I'm in a cover two defense, and I just want to watch this. If you take a look here, um, it's not going to beat it uh, because of the cover four coverage. One of the beauties of the cover four coverage is it is really really smart um the the zones are actually they they actually played together right uh, most of the zones this year i don't think are that smart but this specific coverage is the smartest coverage that i've found which is why um you know it's really the the entire defense is based out of a cover four and simply adjusting from there so the next so what we what we, what we basically proved here and I'm going to go ahead and, and, and do a couple of different things with the with the routes. I'm going to throw a flat out there, maybe throw a streak on the right, you know, maybe throw a little out, whatever, you know what I mean? But if you watch here, what we're going to show you is this post route that is normally a cover two beater does not beat it, even though you're really technically not in a cover four. And it goes back to kind of one of the things that I'm really, really passionate and thinking through right now defensively when you're thinking of quarters coverage and thinking about really where the, the zones need to be based off of the based off of the format of the offense. So um, so real quick, that's kind of the first step is we're gonna flat we're gonna flat both of our outside guys. So we're gonna basically play cover two. Now, one of the other things I want to show you is let's say that let, let, let's say that I think it's the play 
Is it the play uh, FL Drive, maybe? Maybe it's the play we came out in. Yeah, it's the play we came out in. So let's say it's this play right here. Um, this play is going to have the best chance of beating cover two. So if they motion this guy over, you're going to see he's going to snap him right about there. Play action. Goes. And voila. Okay? Now this goes back to another strategy that I've always, always, always believed in when it comes to Madden. Whoever they motion, man them up. Whoever they motion, man them up. So what that looks like for this defense is we're going to be in this coverage. And then once they motion the B receiver, so if I'm an FL draw, or um, I'm sorry, PA cross, once they motion the B receiver, I'm just going to quickly man him up. And what you're going to notice is the defense is going to handle that. So uh, I'm just, I'm asking him in just to be safe here, but I manned him up. Now watch. By the time he clears that, the man coverage is now over the top of him and has it taken away. So the first, so the, the, the biggest takeaway here is if they motion circle, and really I would probably man up circle in general just because of what they're going to do. But, but if they motion circle, normally he's going to be on a motion slant. He's going to be on a crossing route, something, right? So if they motion circle, so now let's say, let's say they streak the tight end and let's say they fade uh, the outside guy. You motion circle, okay, well, I'm going to man him up. And now look, there is nowhere to throw any of those routes. We've taken everything away on that side of the field. So that's one little step that you can take that will really, really help your defense against strong close. And the way I would start is I would probably start with the fullback band up. But as soon as they motion somebody, then I would go ahead and man up the, the, the other guy. One other thing that you'll find with people that run strong close is they normally like to run the three receivers, like the, the tight end side. That's normally to the wide side of the field. Because of that, you're going to see that trying to hit this post route, this is without manned up. If they try to hit this post route, it's not open because it's ran to the short side. So it has to be ran to the wide side anyway for them to be able to do this. So, you know, obviously they might do that, but, you know, that's just something that you need to know. So the next play that I want to look at is the play uh, wide receiver out. I think this is one of the more um, difficult plays to stop in the strong close. And so we're just going to kind of go into our defense here. What I like to do is I'm going to put both of my cloud flats out there, and then I'm going to put two seam flats, okay, just like that right there, two seam flats. And then I'm going to shift my D-line to the running back side or to the fullback side, crash my line out. My user is going to be right in here. And then from that point, you're going to see that if they are going to motion, remember, I like to man him up. So then I'm going to throw a three-rec hook to the defensive tackle or defensive end. That's going to take away those delay fades. That's going to take away a lot of things that they're going to do. And remember, you always have the threat of the user rush. So all you're going to do here, you see this. If you see this fullback jump out, you're just going to come out here for just a second, and then you're going to release it back out. All right? So you're going to kind of fake that you've taken the fullback away. The fullback is technically the most open receiver in this offense. The way you could stop it is if you took your cl cloud flats and you or your curl flats and you made them on five. But really what's going to happen, let me show you real quick here, um, is if they run that if they run that little quick out play. So you'll see right here if I get all this set up. Right here's your here's your defense. Now if they run that little quick out play to the to the running back or to the to the fullback here, we'll show you that. So just motion them over, and all you're gonna see here is I'm just gonna snap, throw it out there. Now look, you see that they're gonna tackle him, and they're gonna tackle him for um, you know they're 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 gonna they're gonna hold him to about you know, three to four yards, you know, so it's not like, it's not like he's going to be just, I mean, it's not like he's just going to be, you know, open. I mean, he, he, he's open, but he's not open, open, you know what I mean? Like, so, you know, that's another thing that you can do. So you, you're going to put your, um, you know, your, if you, if you do it, if you do it like this, you're going to put your circle corner on a flat zone, your square corner on a flat zone, then you're going to put your square linebacker on a seam flat, 
I like to go ahead and just seam flat both of those linebackers, and then I'm going to use that slot uh, corner as my man defender. So wherever, wherever, whoever I want to man up, that's going to be the slot corner. So normally it's going to be on the circle receiver in this formation because um, he, to me, causes the biggest amount of problems. So anyway, once you see all of this, then again, let me show you this out route real quick to the tight end or this little flat route to the, to the running back to R1 here. And you'll see, it, 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 yeah, I mean, you get three yards, you know. But but if you wanted to, like, really shut that down, just put your curl flats at a lower depth. The last thing I wanted to show you is the tight end route. Um, so the tight end route. So, again, you're just setting up your, your coverage here. And I want to show you this, this tight end route. So, again, you're going to seam flat. So you're going to basically place in a seam flat both of your outside linebackers. So that's... Um, you know, double tap the right D-pad, hit their icon, and then up on the left joystick to get them in a seam flat. Okay? So now, um, let's go into the wide receiver out play one more time here. And I want you just to watch the tight end. The tight end really is your responsibility, but I just want you to watch here. He is open right there. One of the things that is nice about this defense is he's not open um, he, he, he's not open if you user him to a certain degree. So, um, essentially you're going to kind of bluff that you're going onto the slant and then you're going to have to trust that cross man to be able to take the slant. And then you're going to, you're going to loop back onto your, um, you're, you're going to loop, loop back onto the tight end. The tight end is open. Um, don't, don't make any mistake about it. I mean, it's there, but if, as long as we're looping onto the tight end, you're going to see this is going to make it very, very difficult to, to, to move against this offense or this defense. So this is one little aspect and some things, some tools that you can use to stop strong close. Um, you know, we, we didn't get over everything, but this is kind of the basic coverage that I would start with and then begin working out of it. Now, if you have any questions about this, text me. My number is 812-216-3644. It's also for, available for you in the description. Another thing that I wanted to hit on is, once again, if you would like to get a free sample of this 335 wide defensive guide, it is available for you for free just through texting me. So all you got to do is pull out your cell phone, text me and say, hey, Cody, I'd like to get that free sample of that 335 wide. And whenever I sit down to do my text messages every day, I will shoot you that message. Um, now, one other thing I did want to say before we take off is if you want to get the full defensive ebook that shows you how to stop every formation and shows you every all the tools that you need, that is available for you in the description. And the defensive guide is just $15. So for just 15 bucks, you'll learn everything that I do on the defensive side of the ball to have a lot of success. So thank you so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. And again, if you want the ebook, that is available for you in the description of this video.